Hi folks, it's Ron with Ideal. In this video, I will specifically show you how to find a cable in ground using a SureTrace circuit tracer from Ideal. These circuit tracers are not underground cable locators, but in favorable environments, they can be used to trace buried cables, conduits, or metal pipe. In my example, I will use it to trace the wires feeding my control valves in my sprinkler system. The wire feeding those valves is about 12 inches under the soil. To set up for the tracing of the wire, I'm going to first of all disconnect the power by unplugging the valve control panel. I plan on tracing the wires that feed valve number 5 in the system. Keep in mind that all these wires are buried in a trench together and feed the different valves along the way. Step 1 is to connect one lead of the transmitter to the hot wire that feeds valve 5. To do so, I will disconnect the wire that feeds the valve 5 from the control board and connect one lead of the transmitter to it using the alligator clip adapter included with the SureTrace kit. Step two is to create a closed loop by connecting the other lead of the transmitter to the other end of the hot wire that feeds valve number five. To do this, I've taken a long extension cord and using the adapters and leads included with the SureTrace kit, connected the hot wire at valve number five to one of the conductors in the extension cord and the far end of this conductor to the second output of the transmitter. This creates a closed loop and should provide the strongest signal to be traced. Step 3 is to turn on the transmitter and receiver, and hold the receiver next to the transmitter to ensure it's receiving a signal. Then begin tracing the wires along the ground following the strongest signal, adjusting the receiver sensitivity to obtain the reading somewhere in the middle of the range. In this example, you can see the conduit entering the ground that contains the wires feeding the sprinkler system. I have a strong signal as I trace away from the side of the house until it drops off significantly. This indicates to me the cables have changed direction. By changing the orientation of the receiver, I get very little signal in this direction, but the signal increases in the opposite direction, indicating the cable has made a 90 degree turn in the ground. By continuing to follow the strongest signal, I can trace the wires to the different valve boxes in the yard and eventually follow the path to valve number 5. Remember the orientation of the receiver to the wire being traced will affect the displayed signal strength. The receiver works best when it is in line with the wire being traced in the ground. By moving the receiver side to side as it is in line with the wire in the ground, you can pinpoint the location of the wire in the ground at the highest reading. Following these steps will help you trace wires buried underground. Call the Ideal Customer Service Line or visit our website to find out more about the Ideal Circuit Tracer and a local distributor you can buy one from. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.